What's up, everybody? Feels bad here, and we are back with another episode with the new Joyzy Devils franchise mode. So, today, I was kind of looking around at the team, kind of seeing what we have. Uh, I definitely looked and saw that we had only our first. We didn't have any extra firsts, and I kind of want to get some more picks, because looking at this roster, we're going to be tanking. And I definitely want to bolster the team for the future. Now the contracts are really alarming. I mean, Drew Stafford. Actually, no, that wasn't Drew Stafford. I forget who it was. It was someone. His contract was kind of bad, but not too bad. One bad contract is what we really want to get rid of is Andy Green. I don't think anyone's going to take him. He's the captain, but I just, I'd rather, looking at the scratch, I'd rather give Santini the ice time just because he's still 23 and this team is going to be bad anyway. So you might as well give the young guns some playing time. So let us go quickly as I can. Try and find a team for Andy Green. This might be a little bit harder. If it takes too long, I will obviously edit it out. Anywho, where is Andy Green, the captain? It, I mean, it's really sad to see a guy like him go. It's just he doesn't fit the system. He's really bad. No one's going to want him. We're probably going to have to retain salary. Um, Arizona. Let's see if we can just get a seventh for him. I just want his contract off the team. So, okay, never mind. Let's find a new team with salary cap. Carolina. Would you just like him for a second? Not even your second. It's Boston's seventh. So, Andy Green for a seventh. No. Okay. Let's retain some of his calorie cap. Let's go half a mil. Just to do this. No, it's probably going to have to be more. It's probably going to have to be like one, one and a half. For them to take it. Will they take it now? No. Okay. The highest I'll go, I guess 50%. We'll go 50%. We'll go max. We'll see if they do it. Okay. All right. So we got another seventh. Good, good, good. There's not going to be much trades because, honestly, we don't have a lot of value down here to trade. Um, it's kind of just be – we're kind of just going to be sitting on our own pick here. So we're going to put Centini in. And, of course, we don't have to worry about people getting injured and filling them in. No, that is fine. Steven Santini getting the lineup very nicely done. Also, I just wanted to point out that we took – Rooney out of the lineup, and we put in Michael McLeod. Better chance of growing, just give him on the fourth line. Give him some nice time, see how he does. I mean, if he's doing bad, we can always put him down. Uh, you guys were actually going to put down real quick. Tim Rooney and Gabriel, just to help out the AHL down there. I mean, we don't have many people down there, but we want them to help out as much as they can. Yeah, this video is going to be a little bit shorter. It's going to be, uh, I mean... It's going to be not much. We'll probably go to the trade deadline and just see um, how we're doing. If someone's doing really bad, like Kyle Palmieri, if he's doing really bad, I could see him being traded because we're bad. We, we just need more. We just need more everything. We just need more everything. We're basically an AHL squad at this point. <laughs> um, all right, so I forgot. Let me just do this real quick. I know it's annoying. I'm not really concerned with special teams at the moment. Um, I kind of did those already. I felt they were fine. Uh, but I keep backing out. I apologize. I, <laughs> I feel rusty. I haven't done this in a while. Anyway, getting back into the nitty-gritty, looking at the special teams, they're fine. They're they're just kind of what you would expect. Four-man power play is that. Penalty kill, through and penalty kill if you want to pause it and look at it. So, without further ado... Let us sim the first month together. I don't think we're going to do well. It's not going to be anything really exciting. So we'll go to the end of the month here. The end of October. Salary Cup's fine. And we actually win against the Islanders who won against the Pens last night in real life. So that was a big OT victory. And wow, we're doing 4-1. It's probably because of Taylor Hall. It's got to be because of Taylor Hall. I, I would expect nothing less Taylor Hall actually keeps the Devils kind of relevant, to be honest. Anywho, amateur scout or scouts, I already did. 
And, yeah, I mean, we're going up against the Edmonton Oilers and we lose, right? I would expect a lot of losing. You know, uh, it's really just going to be a lot of losing. And I'll send one more week and then, well, well, we'll do actually, you know what? I'll do you guys a favor. We'll go to the end of the month. So we went against Dallas in a shootout up against Colorado, who was playing Calgary tonight. I hope Calgary wins. Anyway, we actually got two wins in a row, a little two-win win streak, and now we're down to two and four, lose to Nashville, Florida six and two, we beat them. So we're actually closer to, I was just going to say we're actually closer to 500 than I thought, but no, we got a loss. So we've won 50% of our games. Wonderful, so I'm going to, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sim ahead to the trade deadline because nothing really is exciting. Maybe a trade will happen at the trade deadline. We don't know. Anyway, I'm going to sim ahead. Well, boys, we are back. And apparently the team didn't get the memo that we would be tanking. Uh, apparently they feel that they can compete with this roster, and it's probably because of Taylor Hall. I mean, he's not even doing that insane. 34 goals is a lot, but only 52 points in... 60 games or something like that. But Nico Heesh here. He's growing nicely next to Taylor Hall. Cobb Homeri doing nicely as well. Jesper Bratt, Blake Coleman, and Miles Wood. They're actually getting points, which is surprising me. Zajac, Travis, Z I don't know. Zaka, Zajac. Oh my God, there's so many Zs on this team. Notion's not doing well. Okay. Oh my god. Michael McLeod. What a monster. Wow. Look at that. Will Butcher, Severson, Connor Carrick, Vatanen, Micro Mueller, and then Santini has two goals. What a beast. Goaltending. Corey Schneider, Blackwood. Oh, okay. So Blackwood's playing pretty well right now. I understand he's the backup, but he's played 14 games. He has eight wins. He has a save percentage of 9.32 and a goals against of 2.03. That's pretty good. That's that's pretty good. And Schneider's doing average, which is surprising because he should be doing trash. Now, do we try to compete with this roster? I mean, the team is saying, hey, go for it, buddy. We got this. But I don't trust it. I, I don't. I don't trust it. I don't think a Cinderella run is really going to benefit us right now. Um, let me actually just take a look at what's available. Um, let me just quickly do this. Daniel Sprong. Love Daniel Sprong. It would be nice to have him. I actually wouldn't be opposed to getting him. Ooh, I mean... Nah, we used him in the we used him in the last series. We keep using the Ducks players. Let's not. Let's move. Let's move away from the Ducks. Let's do it by overall as well. Overall. No. No. Tom and P. No. Calgary is nothing. Andy Green. <laughs> no. Um. I mean Smolov. No. No. Panarin, Duchesne. Duchesne has really dropped, hasn't he? Mm. But Ryan Dezingle. I kind of like Ryan Dezingle here. I kind of want to go after Ryan Dezingle. To pick him up. I mean, he could help. Because we then we could put Notion down. Yeah, I kind of want to get him. But I don't... Is there anything that scares me to the block? What do we got? What do we got? What do you want? Quenville? You want Quenville? I mean, he's probably not going to be anything. Maybe he will. I don't know. Joey Anderson. Um, Notion. Because he would replace Notion, actually. And then we can throw in a low draft pick. Just to just throw at him. We actually do have three seconds. I forgot to say that, which is important. Um... Throw in a fifth, maybe? Can we do it? No. Okay. We're going to have to give up a little bit more. We have two thirds as well. Maybe we give up a fourth. Will they do it for a fourth? No. I think we got to give them a third. We'll give them Dallas's third. So, Notion is a third for Ryan Dezingle? No. Maybe a third and a fifth? I mean, a third and the seventh we got from. Um, 
An Andy Green trade. Will it go through? No. Mm -mm. Okay, so a seventh and a sixth for next year. Will it go through? No. Maybe a fifth for next year. I just, I like Ryan Dezingle. I think he's a decent player. Will it go through? A third for this year and a fifth for Notion. Will it go, th and Notion for Dezingle. Will it go through? No. My God. A fourth for next year. Boston's fourth. Will it go through? Wow, okay, fine. Two thirds. A third from this year and a third from next year. Will it go through? A bit low. Man, they're asking for so much. We'll give him the Andy Green uh, seventh. Yeah, we'll give him the Andy Green seventh. Will it go through? Oh my lordy lord. Okay, let's give them. What do I have doubles in? I have doubles and sevenths. We'll give them both our sevenths. Both of our sevenths. Will it go through? So two thirds, two sevenths, and notion for Dezingle. There we go. Okay, so we got Ryan Dezingle. Nice, 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 nice. We will do the roster moves later. Actually, we'll just put him in. Because I don't want to have to do best lines. See, left wing. He is a left wing. Oh my god, he jumped up to an E3? Did he really not like playing there? Okay, all right. We can move Miles Wood down or yes for Brad. Yes for Brad, I want to keep trying to grow. Miles Wood will move down. So Miles Wood, get down there. He's both left wingers. Yeah, we're going to do that. So Ryan Dezingle is on the squad. Um, I think that will help us. I guess we're kind of going for it, I guess. I mean, <laughs> um, there's nothing really I want to give up. I don't want to give any more picks. I don't think I'm going to get any more picks with the players I have. So let's just see the point totals of how everyone did. Oh, we did. Um, AHL, maybe? Who did what down here? Who is this Sini guy? Let me just check this. Okay, if you guys want to see this, I'm just going through quickly. Pause it if you wish and want to see it. Um, boop, 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 and goalies, Eddie Lack, yep, okay, so I think that's going to end it here, boys, um, I just wanted to get to the trade deadline, and, uh, we'll see how it goes, but we'll see if you make the playoffs or not, either way, this angle's young enough to help out the squadron and the young guns for now, so boys, like and subscribe if you wish, and I'll see you boys in the next one.